Hemodynamic monitoring is a complex topic that refers to monitoring certain parameters within the cardiovascular system. As a respiratory therapist or student, it's a subject that you must be familiar with. To help, we created this quick video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is hemodynamic monitoring? Hemodynamic monitoring is a term that refers to the assessment of several physiological parameters within the circulatory system. It's how we can measure and monitor vascular pressures inside of veins and arteries and inside of the heart as well. It allows us to monitor intravascular fluid levels so that we can provide adequate care for the patient. Hemodynamic monitoring requires a strain gauge transducer which is a pressure measuring device that records pressures by the expansion and contraction of a flexible metal diaphragm connected to electrical wires. Simply put, it converts a vascular pressure into an electrical signal so that we as practitioners can obtain a reading. Invasive hemodynamic monitoring involves the insertion of an indwelling catheter into a blood vessel. We're not going to cover all the different types in this video, However, just know that it facilitates systemic arterial, central venous, and pulmonary artery monitoring. In order to understand hemodynamic monitoring, you must know the most important parameters as well as their normal values. Here are some examples. Mean arterial pressure with a normal value of approximately 93. Central venous pressure of 2 to 6 pulmonary artery pressure of 25 over 8, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure of 4 to 12, systemic vascular resistance of 900 to 1400, pulmonary vascular resistance of 150 to 300, cardiac index of 2 to 4, and a cardiac output of 4 to 8 liters per minute. If this sounds confusing, trust me, you are most definitely not alone. Like I said, Hemodynamic monitoring is a complex topic, but it's really not too bad once you start breaking it all down step by step. In this video, we just wanted to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. However, we will be breaking down each one of these parameters into much more detail in separate videos. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.